Pennywise. We found Pennywise home. Where is he? Where he go? Run. Run, 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 <laughs> run, run, run. Hi everyone and welcome to Space for Three. Today we are in Crandon Park Gardens back in our hometown the city of Miami. This was the original zoo way back in the days before we were even born. Way back. So it's considered the ruins, but it's known for a heavy population of peacocks. So we're gonna try to capture some of those for you guys. There's also uh, reported iguanas and a lot of different birds, ibis in particular. And there's even like signs that you see of alligators that are out here. So. If we get lucky, we might see an alligator. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. So come along. We got plenty of space. Yeah. Check this out. You want to see a big old dragon lizard? All right guys, so we're doing the trail right now. There's a couple of trails that go all around and you get to stop in some of the ruins from the old zoo. So hopefully we can capture some of those for you guys. And there's a couple of lakes and a whole bunch of peacocks for sure. Check it out guys, we found the swing. Shall we? I guess we shall. <laughs> we are chilling. This are is we? nice. I hope y'all not getting motion sickness. <laughs> it's a nice breeze and there's a nice big tree here, kind of covering the sun, but it's still peeking through, but it's a nice yeah. breeze. And our view is right in front of a lake. So there you go, that's our view right now. Our current situation. That's what it looks like. Nice pretty yeah. lake. Yeah, we have to stop and take a breather because this place is humongous. And it's so <laughs> hot because you know Miami don't play with that heat. No, it sure doesn't. And I've been getting bit up, so 
Yeah, the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes. We're in mosquito season, and I forgot when I left the house to put on mosquito repellent. So lucky me, I'm getting all eaten up. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get a couple more things for you guys and start heading back. We probably won't do the whole park because it is way too hot, and it is a humongous park. But if you guys ever come out here, make sure you check it out. Oh, I see a baby gator. Check it out. Let's see if I can get it for you guys. Oh, he just went under. He was right over there. There was a baby alligator. Oh, I didn't see it. Look at this. Beautiful feather that one of the peacocks lost. This is one of the males. But this one's fully intact. Like this one's all messed up and scrawny looking. This one is beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> We are now approaching the ruins. They used to keep all the animals in cages back in those days. Actually standing in a cage where they actually kept animals for tourists to come and just look at. It's Donald and Daisy. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? You doing good? How's your mom and dad doing? Everybody good? <laughs> so here's another cage. I don't know how they kept animals in those conditions back in those days. It was sad. So sad. Well, then you had another one. <laughs> so this was some form of cage. Animal cages. Look at how small these things are. They're so sad. They actually kept animals in here. Look at a big old web. So over here, this big arch that you see with the, them tables, this is another part of the ruins from the actual zoo. So I'm gonna give you guys a little 360 of what the location looks like right now. You got some ruins, you got beautiful trees. There's a couple of lakes. There are some crocodiles in the area. There's lots of birds. So check this out. Let me spin you around. Whoa. Did you see that guy? We got a whole gang of vultures here. Creeping. Guy just flew over my head. He came out of nowhere. So here you got another lake with more crocodile warnings. Whoa. Whoa. And Don't something's I... going on over there. <laughs> I saw three of them chasing each other. If we stay to the right, we'll be able to see some turtles. Pretty big. Does anybody know what kind of turtle that is? Comment below. There comes another one. That looks like a snap turtle. I think they think we got food. So 
so I count them. I see one, two, three, four, five. All right, guys, so that's our visit here at the Crandon Park Gardens. We sure had a great time walking around. I wouldn't recommend coming in the summertime, though. Um, this place is beautiful. It's bigger than what we thought it was. And definitely try to come in the winter time, like December, January, sort of, because that'll be the time to come. Yeah, for sure. It's way too hot. It's like 95 degrees today. <laughs> and there's mosquitoes yes. and all kinds of bugs but the place is really cool it's very chill um if you have a bicycle bring your bicycle you can rent bikes but we didn't know that we found out when we were like on. <laughs> way in the middle of the park somebody told us that we could have rented bicycles for i believe 25 dollars yeah 25 dollars for like a couple of hours they give you or 40 dollars for the full day for and the full day which is good you might as well do that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you comment below let us know what you thought of the place unfortunately we couldn't give it all to you guys but it was pretty cool it's a 70s abandoned zoo but it's still open to the public only locals know about this place um this isn't a touristy place so when you come here you're only gonna really run into locals I and mean, we didn't really run into anybody that's not from miami no no tourists at all did we see and if you are a freak of nature, you are yes you love nature you love birds you like alligators turtles um ducks all that stuff like mm -hmm. everywhere you look we're, yeah. right now we're surrounded there's some ducks right there there's some yeah. turtles right there like you're surrounded by nature trees and all the, all that good stuff yeah you're gonna have a lot of animal encounters here for sure yeah so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and ding that bell for notifications give us a like and don't forget to meet new faces see new places and always leave a space for love bye peace why did the peacock cross the road